It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> we're so cheesy. A beautiful day for my neighbor. Guys, can you tell that we're feeling Won't a little bit better? Mine? Won't you be mine? Feels good. Yes, we're both feeling I better am. finally. Oh my gosh. That was it's been the worst. so long. That was the worst opening ever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what, you're singing? You're like your voice? Uh, your voice is pretty bad. <laughs> hey, but my voice sounds better in terms of sickness, you guys. So oh yeah, as far as sickness goes, she sounds We amazing. have missed you. As you can probably tell, we have not put out a video for a few days. It's been sad. So I ended up missed you. going to urgent care, you guys, the other day. I know. And it's actually a good thing that I did because I have a bad sinus infection, come to find out. So yeah. I got a steroid and some antibiotics. I'm taking the steroid first. It seems to be helping a little bit because my pressure headache is finally going away. You guys, I've had this headache for weeks. It's huge. And I have not felt great, as you guys know. We have not videoed a ton in the past few weeks. So I'm finally starting to feel better. I'm so grateful. Isn't that awesome that she was able to get seen, that it is actually an infection, and that she was able to get the medication that she needs in order to get better from all this, yes. which is huge because she's been feeling icky, like sick, like it's horrible a long time. for like almost, what, over a month now it feels no, like? No, not a month. Like, it's been a while. It's been weeks. like three weeks, yeah. Three weeks, yeah. so a long time, so I'm yeah. so glad. I just thought it was like a cold and it was just hanging on, but come to find out, because I've I never know. had a sinus infection before, and Jerry was the well, one that's that was the thing, like, is that Brittany's had, had a sinus infection. Yeah, well, Brittany's had the sinus infection, and then I was sick as well, and then on top of that, I've had like the little testosterone stuff that I've been dealing with, and I've had numerous doctor's visits <laughs> of like blood testing, you stuff guys, we haven't even shown you guys what either. Is, what is life yeah. right now? I mean, I feel I like when one thing happens, it's just like the ripple effect. I know. Like so, boom, 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 boom. So that's why, that's another reason why we haven't been yes. videoing as much as this, because we've just been so just, ugh. <laughs> with like all this doctor stuff and like being sick and we haven't been feeling good at all. Yes. And so it's like no one really wants to see that anyway. Yeah, so anyways you guys, thank you for being patient with yeah. us. You guys are always so sweet and always send us the best messages. You check in yeah. on us, so Yeah, we do appreciate you, that a lot. You. We've gotten so many messages like either on Instagram or people have been emailing us and it's I like. I know, and if you yeah. have messaged us, you guys, to be honest, I have not been checking like Instagram messages much. I know, we've all just. Or we've, been posting over there much. We've generally just been trying to like heal. I know yeah. that sounds kind of lame, but like with me especially just because my testosterone is so low I've just been so tired and like just fatigued all the time yes. so and there's some other stuff that finally starting to feel a little bit better yeah that too with that that we'll yeah. fill you in on when we know more about but it's yeah just been, you know just one of those I'd say the past couple weeks has been a little crazy and that's okay everyone goes through stuff in so. fact I have a doctor's appointment two of them coming up this week and so yeah one of them is very important actually yeah. so Stick around yeah. for that, you guys. So there's a little recap of what's been going on the last few days. You haven't missed much whatsoever, but I am curious. Tell us about what's going on in your guys' lives. I know yeah. we obviously share what's going on in our life, but we would love for you to comment down below. Tell us what's happening, whether it's good, bad, anything like that, anything maybe you could use help yeah, we with, hear. prayers for. We would love that. And we just got to Finn's favorite place, the park. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know if you guys can see them. There's one there. There's one over there. So okay, we're gonna let them off. Let them go. Them. Never. Just making yeah. that clear. He just yeah. runs and they go up the trees. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let them off, let them off. See that one? Finish right there. Right there. Go, go, go! go. <laughs> <laughs> oh Favorite thing is just looking up the trees and just like seeing them. I love how he jumps around. Yeah, he jumps and thinks he can get up there. He's like a little bunny. Finley, <laughs> right here. Finley, look. Oh, oh. Finley, Finley, Finley. <laughs> Did you see how fast he ran up there? Yeah. Finney, you are getting a little too overconfident, buddy. Look yeah. at that smile on his face. Finney, what do you see? Good boy. Are you just our little tree climbing dog? Good boy. Oh my yeah, gosh. Good boy.
back home right now. It's felt so good recently because it's been cooling off and we've been enjoying every last little minute of being outside. Oh, and perfect timing. See that water taxi off there in the distance? That's awesome. Brittany mentioned this, I think, in a couple days ago about there being like a cold front that came in, and it's been heavenly for us. Like, oh. we've just been enjoying every second of it. You guys, I feel like all of Florida is coming outside yeah. now because it's. Everyone is. It's yeah. like the low 80s right now, and it's just. Yeah. Ugh, we're soaking it in. So it's been Finn really has nice. has so much energy. He Especially, has like so much more energy. Oh, yeah. He can yeah. just run and run, and yeah. we're like, I'm so surprised <laughs> he's not tired. But yeah. like, we ran into so many neighbors outside. outside. It's been cool. We've met a lot of new people, too. I know. It's so cool. It's been awesome. Yeah. What's also awesome is now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I am getting back into cooking. Yeah, back into the I'm cooking. I'm so excited about I'm trying a new recipe tonight for dinner mm -hmm. and let's just say if you are an onion fan you may love this oh so, yes please i'm doing french onion chicken seems pretty easy basically all i'm going to do is prep my chicken first so i have a little pan right here and i'm just gonna kind of lay down some olive oil maybe about a tablespoon or so and then to that, I'm gonna add in some garlic. This is my little frozen garlic I get from Trader Joe's. It's so awesome, you just like pop it out. And I'll do like probably six cloves of garlic. We love garlic around here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna mash that up. It's been sitting out for a little bit, so I'm hoping, yeah, there we go. You're gonna grab a packet of none other than Lipton's French onion soup mix. And we're actually gonna use both of these packets, but in the marinade, we're just gonna use one, and then I'll show you where we're gonna use the other one. And you're just gonna spread that in here. Oh my gosh, I'm just kind of excited <laughs> for this, you guys. And then that, you can add either beef broth, I have some chicken broth, or just water, whatever you have, and about a cup of that. And then just pour in some garlic powder. I will put the recipe down in the comments. Fingers crossed it turned out good. I think it, <laughs> I think it should, these are all yummy things. Wait, what did we cook the other day? It just like ended up being awful all that protein pumpkin bread that I use baking soda instead of baking powder. I want to retry. I want to retry oh, that when man. it's the right thing. That's funny. And then just some salt and pepper in here. And that's going to be our little marinade for our chicken. So I am using chicken breast that I've kind of just cut up into pieces. And then you'll notice I got our chicken in, I stirred it so it's nice and covered. And then I have some space left over so I thought I will throw in some little red potatoes that can marinate in that same thing and then cook them at the same time as the chicken. Cause I think potatoes with like the French onion soup, it's so delicious. And we've been loving these little red potatoes. They're so easy to make and pop in the oven. Take those and then it's gonna pop. I don't even know how much space will fit, but we'll try and jab as many of these in there as we can. Now you can totally leave the potatoes out. It's just optional. You could fill this whole thing with chicken, but I kind of like doing it both so that way we got the side and the chicken. And the secret recipe, the onions. Yes, yeah, so this is why it's called French onion chicken. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna thinly slice I'm doing two onions. If you're not a huge fan, you can just do one, but I know Jared loves onions, I mm -hmm. love onions. And we are going to caramelize these onions on the stove. So, I'm gonna get these all cut up, but then the secret is, once they're starting to get soft, I'm gonna add in another packet of the Lipton onion soup. <laughs> I can notice your I know eyes. My eyes are stinging. <laughs> I should do the trick. Well, have, have you heard the trick where you run running water? That yeah. Helps to help. <laughs> Brittany. You guys, my eyes <laughs> wear goggles yeah. or something. I had to come outside. <laughs> the onions are caramelized right yeah. now. It takes a little while. You do it low and slow so they get Oh, you see that parrot? I was the helicopter. Wow. Yeah, look at the top. Okay, you guys, our little That's parrots hard. are back. Do you see at the very top? Are you zooming yeah. in? Look at that little parrot That's there. They're cute. green. They're really loud, so they squawk a lot during the day. And they're usually like packs, and they fly just from like palm tree to palm tree, but they're so cute. <laughs> I love it. Also, you remember our big hawks that come? Yeah. They're trying to come now, too, because I think I noticed that the other day. So yeah. they're flying, I guess, whatever direction this is, south yes. for the winter. So we've been wait. seeing those a little bit. The sun's starting to go down. It's beautiful out here. Yeah, hey, I'll come out here and clear my eyes anytime. Yeah, exactly, right? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. All right, we're back in 
inside. Our eyes are doing good. <laughs> so our onions have been cooking for maybe about 10 minutes, so they're getting soft. And I just added in the other packet of the lifted onion soup mix, and then probably about a half a cup to a cup of the chicken broth again. And I'm gonna let this kind of cook down for probably another about 10 minutes till they get pretty much done. And then you guys, I'll show you what we do with the chicken. I wish you could smell this right now. It does like smell I really said, good. if you're like a big front, French onion soup fan, I feel like this is gonna be a good recipe. We're gonna top it with some breadcrumbs with some Parmesan, pop it in the oven, and then before it's done, we're gonna cover it with yummy cheese to get all gooey, kind of mm, like you know the cheese that goes yeah, on top of the onion soup. I like it. So our onions are done, and now I'm just spooning them over the chicken, you guys. Oh, this smells really good. It smells like a French onion Oh my gosh. soup in here. I'm even spooning them over the potatoes too, I mean, because why not? We're just gonna mm -hmm. cover this up in onions. We are just gonna sprinkle some of these just over the top of the chicken. I'm not gonna put these over potatoes just to give a little bit of a crunch, crunch factor. Yeah, like yeah. So sprinkle some of these in and then I'm gonna actually add in some, I gotta grab it, some grated Parmesan cheese as well. Oh baby, look at this. We're gonna, you can't even tell the difference between the Parmesan cheese and the bread crumbs. <laughs> but how Dwight good. Out. I'm gonna even put some of the cheese over the potatoes too, because I mean, everything's better with a little cheese. Everyone likes cheesy potatoes. Yeah, now I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 375 for about 30 minutes, then I'm gonna check it, and we'll go from there. Ooh, -wee, that smells right. good. It's been a little bit. Ooh, keeping you gotta move. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish wow. you could smell our house right now. It smells it like fresh onion soup. Divine. So, oh, oh boy, it's heavy, it's so bubbly. <laughs> okay, so I cooked it for about 30 minutes with tin foil covered, and then I took it off, and it's been cooking in another 30 minutes with it off. I kind of did a test piece cut. Ooh, that looks good. So now at this point, let's see our potatoes. They're soft to the touch. Now comes the most important part. What's the best part of any uh, French cheese? Food? The cheese. So I found this blend actually at Trader Joe's. It's Swiss and Gruyere. So Gruyere is usually like the most popular type of cheese that's usually on French onion soup. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top of the chicken. I also have a little bit of mozzarella. I think I'm gonna do two. I might even just broil it so it gets, should I just do that? Yeah. Maybe I'll just broil it so it gets nice and brown and bubbly. Ooh, the lolly. Okay, I'm gonna switch this to broil and I'm not gonna take my hands off of it because I made that mistake before. And then we'll be ready to eat. <laughs> I'm also, okay, you guys, one thing we've been loving are these little vegetable melodies. I don't know if they have these at your grocery store. We get these from Publix. You literally, I mean, I know they have steamed vegetables in bags pretty much at every grocery yeah. store, but we have been loving these. You just pop them in the microwave five minutes and you get fresh steamed veggies. Yeah, they're delicious. And Jared and I are trying to get more veggies in our diet and honestly, yep. game changer. That and butternut already cubed squash, same thing, yeah. five minutes. I, I drizzle honey, a little bit of butter, salt and pepper. I've been eating this for lunch and it is like so good. Oh my gosh, I'm this trying to looks see, I good. can't see, there's so much cheese, I can't see where the <laughs> piece of chicken is. <laughs> Poor Finn, hold on, he's jumping over here. No. Just wait a second, bro, it's coming. Imagine this like French onion sauce all over, you know, mashed oh, potatoes. Yeah, that looks we'll nice. We'll get these Smells, two pieces. Honestly, just like French onion soup. It does. Oh, and some of these potatoes. Yes, please, with those onions. I think I'm gonna sprinkle some a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Oh yeah, that sounds good, baby. Now, it may look pretty, it may smell pretty, <laughs> but does it taste? Does it taste good pretty. is the question. <laughs> yeah. well, I just got a bite, let's see, here we go. You guys, look at that juicy chicken. You got the crusted really cheese on top, steam is coming off of it. Oh, there goes some on my hand. 
Do you love it? I mean, not to toot my okay. own horn. The husband's Three. reaction. Yeah. That was really good. Isn't that good? Yeah. It's really flavorful. That's like instant flavor, yeah. I want to try potato too. Ooh, it's perfect. It's very tender. Mm. Hot. So good. That's really good, yeah. The potatoes are so good. <laughs> Cook the potatoes with it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, guys. I think this is going to be a new fave on I repeat. I think it's going to be a repeat one, too. I think we're gonna, so good and so easy. I think we're going to dive into this right now. Jared's pinching my leg because he wants to Yeah, eat. I really want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I was just basically telling her. He was just down there pinching my leg because he wants to eat. We're hungry. <laughs> I'm starving. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just night out, as you can see. You guys, we love you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We hope you all had a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you all next see time. See you guys. Bye. Well, I think it's safe to say we enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so much for too many leftovers for tomorrow. Not just. Make this. Mm -hmm.